My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 92 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at questions under product rule. Product has to do with multiplication. If you look at this first one, this is the same thing as s squared times everything here. If you look at here, this is the same thing as cos s times sin s. If you look at here, sin squared 5s is the same thing as sin 5s times sin 5s. So, this is the same as this. If you look at it this way, it may not look or actually sound like product. But if you reason that sine square five s means this, then you know what you are talking about. If you are saying sine square s, this is sine s times another sine s. So that is a product. S sine s. This is s times sine s this guy this is this one times this so when you are given products to differentiate what do you do how do you go about the derivative of products ladies and gentle girls before we look at product rule please take note of something very very important if you have something like this if you differentiate cos s, you will get minus sin s. How about I say differentiate cos 3s? Anytime you have a number here before s, differentiate cos s normally and use the number to multiply. In other words, if I say cos 3s, it is the same thing as 3 times minus sin 3s. That is minus 3 sin 3s. If I say differentiate sin 2s, this is 2 cos 2s. Always take note of that. When you are differentiating a simple function with a value before theta, bring out the value, then differentiate the function, use the value to multiply it. I think it makes sense to you. So you know. Now, in product rule, there is a formula which says that dy dx is equals u dv dx plus v du dx. That is the formula for multiplying products. dv dx is the same thing as v prime. If I say find y prime, is differentiate y once. y prime prime differentiate two times. Y prime 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 differentiate three times so you can represent dv dx as v prime and du dx as u prime you know for me i am not a fan of cramming formulas or going with formulas i am a fan of understanding concepts so that you will not forget concepts will always be with you but formula can be forgotten or misused but Despite the concept, we are still following the formula, right? If you are given a product, what you simply do is that understand the two different functions. Here, we are dealing with here, and we are dealing with here. You keep one constant, differentiate the second one, plus you differentiate the first one, keep the second one constant. This is what I'm trying to say. You have two functions here. So you can call anyone V or anyone U. But let's, for the sake of this class, let's always call the first one U and the second one V for product rule. If I call S, 
you can see let u be s squared here and let v be 2s minus 5 to the power of 4 to differentiate this product the y over the s is keep the first one constant in this case u keeping it constant means don't differentiate it so you see yes yeah. then times the v the s means differentiate the second one because v is the second one <coughs> v is the second one so if you differentiate the second one you get okay i taught you how to differentiate composite function differentiating this guy is the same thing as saying when you differentiate inside the head you get two that is two times multiply it with the power times four bracket everything remains here 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 1 from the power 4 minus 1 this will give you 2 times 4 8 then 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 3 so differentiating the second one is 8 2s minus 5 raised to the power You've done the first part. Plus, differentiate the first one now, and the one you differentiated before, keep it constant. So, we kept here constant before. Now, let's differentiate it. When you differentiate s here, you get 2s. Then, we differentiated here in the first part, so now we keep it constant. So, we have 2s minus 5 raised to the power of 4. That is basically it. You keep the first one, differentiate the second one, plus you differentiate the first one, keep the second one. You are good to go. This will give you something like this. Opening up this bracket, which is using this to multiply only this, it is not advisable to touch the one with power. S squared times 8 is 8 S squared. Then you have 2s minus 5 to the power of 3 plus 2s 2s minus 5 to the power of 4 most cases product rule is not where you solve and get a single answer or a short answer you can get as long as possible answer so this is basically the answer for this second one you have cos s sine s you call u cos s you call v sin s and what product rule is after is keep the first one constant or any one you call u keep it constant differentiate the one you call v plus keep the one you call v constant in the second part differentiate the one you call u so i choose to call cos s u and sign s v keep the first one constant because s remain don't do anything differentiate the second one to get when you differentiate sign s you get cos s plus keep the differentiate this first one now that you kept constant before to get minus sign s then the second one you differentiated it is time to keep it constant that is sine s this will give you cos s times cos s that is cos squared s sine s times sine s that is sine squared s plus sine minus is minus so this is minus sine squared s this is basically your answer cos squared s minus sine squared s Anytime you are, you are given this type of expression that you can factorize or expand, you don't need to even apply product rule. In this type of questions, you simply say, open up the bracket. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2s, plus 3s, 
minus 3x squared. Expanded the bracket. Simplifying, you have 2 minus, no, 2 plus s minus 3s squared. This will give you sum and difference differentiation. So when you differentiate here, you get 0 plus, when you differentiate s, you get 1 minus 3 times 2, 6. 6 is 2 minus 1 plus 1. This is basically 1 minus 6s. So, when you are given something like this, that you can expand the bracket, instead of applying product rule, just expand and differentiate one by one. But if you apply product rule here, you will also get the same answer. You keep your constant, differentiate this, plus you differentiate this and keep your constant. When you rearrange the answer, you get that same stuff. Try it at home. For this guy, I said this is the same thing as sine. 5s sine 5s. You keep this constant times you differentiate this. When you differentiate sine 5s, you will get 5 cos 5s. I explained this at the beginning of this class. Then plus you differentiate the one you kept constant. That will also give you 5 cos 5s. Then the one you differentiated before, you keep it constant now to get sine 5s. This is basically sine 5s cos 5s. That is 5 sine 5s cos 5s plus 5 sine 5s cos 5s. Now look at this. Here is sine 5s cos 5s. Here is sine 5s cos 5s. They are the same thing, which means they can be added. 5 of this plus 5 of this. That is 10 sine 5s cos 5s. So that is it. And the fact that I am not posting the question doesn't mean they are not jump past questions and likely questions. These are jump questions, past, present, and future questions. So don't always feel it is when I post screenshots that is when it is jump question. No. And all the differentiations we've been doing since they are explicit differentiation. Explicit. There is also implicit function where you can have s squared plus let's see why squared equals r in that case you are not dealing with function of s to be equal something you are dealing with different function to be equal something entirely then you begin to hear things like when you differentiate y you get dy ds so jam doesn't want you to know implicit function but in 100 level you will see implicit function if you are doing mathematics and you see other differentiations Jam also does not really focus on differentiation of partial fractions. No, Jam doesn't really specialize on that. But if you wish to know that, you can go to my mathematics playlist, the main math playlist. You will see implicit function, differentiation of partial fractions, and everything is beyond the scope of Jam, under the scope of Jam, and within the scope. But in this Jam series, we are playing safe. So let's look at this. S sine S. Let's call u s and v sine s. Product rule says that keep u constant, so leave s, don't do anything new, times differentiate v, that is cos s, plus differentiate the one you did not differentiate before. When you differentiate s, you get 1, times keep the one you differentiated before constant, sine s this is basically s cos s plus sine s nothing more nothing more now for your assignment differentiate s cos s it is so so simple and easy ladies and gentlemen with this we come to the end of this episode and at least we've done something 
on that product rule. Don't worry, we'll have at least two, three episodes, four, to so we'll focus on only questions. But it will just be a revision. This is everything you should know, plus your personal practice. Take care of yourself.